Hey guys, and welcome to The Shack. I know I haven't posted a video in quite a long time, and I apologize for that, but I finally had time to edit some footage that I had shot in mid-December of last year, and I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, and welcome to The Shack. In this video, we will be submerging a Halloween-themed aluminum sculpture in concentrated hydrochloric acid and seeing what happens. So on mold day in my chemistry class, we had several group competitions, and one of them was to create a Halloween-themed sculpture out of one mole of aluminum foil. My group's sculpture consisted of a coffin with a giant four-fingered hand rising out of it, and the whole thing was surrounded by a ghost, a scorpion, and a snake. And given that I was the one in charge of figuring out what to do with our masterpiece, I have decided to submerge it in some concentrated tin mold or hydrochloric acid. So let's take this outside, cover it in HCL, and see what happens. We'll start with the coffin itself. I will place it in a glass tray and cover it in a thin layer of HCL. While I show you guys the destruction of our magnificent work of art, I would like to give a few shoutouts. The King of Kim, Hun Kim, The Backyard Scientist, and Explosions and Fire are four amazing chemistry channels that you should definitely check out and subscribe to. They all have awesome, short, concise, and informative videos, and deserve many more subscribers than they currently have. To go to these channels' homepages, either click the annotations on the screen, or see the links in the description. I would also like to congratulate my good friend Nick Legault for earning his Eagle Scout ranking at the young age of 14. I personally admire his devotion, perseverance, and hard work. Great job, Nick. Anyway, this reaction takes about a minute to start up, and I have skipped that part. During this time, the HCL has to break through the chemically resistant layer of aluminum oxide that has formed on the surface of the metal. Once this layer is broken, however, the reaction is very vigorous and produces enough heat to vaporize most of the hydrochloric acid. The white fumes you see are actually hydrogen chloride gas and water vapor. After the initial reaction, aluminum continues to dissolve for several minutes as the remaining hydrochloric acid reacts with it. After the reaction is over, we're left with a viscous blob of aluminum chloride and remaining aluminum metal. And now I'll show you guys the other four parts of the sculpture dissolving, which are the four-fingered hand, the snake, the ghost, and the scorpion. I hope you enjoy the destructive tirade. Okay, so while this is reacting, I'm going to go ahead and add in the ghost uh, and just see what happens. Alright, so I've got a fresh batch of HCL right here, and we're going to test it out on the scorpion.
Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video and the experiment. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, constructive criticism of the experiments that I do and video quality are always extremely helpful. So if you didn't like something about the video or the experiment itself, please let me know. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for some other interesting chemistry videos.